it there, virtual crafters and farmers. How are you doing? Thanks for clicking. Today's wild project involves the 1 million gold castle reward from Frank's work table. It comes complete with its own stone workbench and friendly stone fox mount on purchase. But you'll have to wait until the next day before the bohemian structure will appear in town. I'll do a little preview here of what it looks like from the outside and in. Since this structure is isolated like the player housing and has much of the larger interior layout than the outside would suggest, it's sized perfectly on the river map hilltop. Nestled in the trees, it still gives a little space around it to decorate the outside, but first let's head inside. As you might have noticed, this is a bit different. It's a big black box with four rooms in it. The immediate and main room contains shrubbery and a fountain. So this is going to end up a garden, but there are three other rooms through these swinging doors with large open spaces for filling with just anything available. I could see this being a good processing station for many materials or a really big storage warehouse if nothing else. Although I've gotten one of these castles on another game save and never did do anything to design the inside, even if the stone workbench got plenty of use. This time around, we're doing a building request from a viewer to see what ideas can be done with this garden pause bonus. And I have to admit, this black box makes me crazy since I usually include the Florence Island views in my build. So it's time to try a wacky idea for a wacky application by putting in some foundations to extend the top of the room. And uh, I'd originally put in a glass roof here, but uh, I ended up swapping it out for a different look with the stone fences from the castle's workbench. I'm trying to fit in many of its pieces into the build for a preview, so I even made an entire throne room as an excuse to use them. We will get these items by way of in-game mail from Frank with the bench and mount attached. The workbench has a little stone project modeled on it, and the menu has a selection of furniture and fences, which include the round stone table, benches, and a pretty neat stone couch with the paw print on it. Giant rock fox mount bounces along when you're riding it. It can always be on display in the castle when not in use. The build went through multiple remodel processes, and the idea kept evolving. At first I was just going for a starry sky look with some spotlight shining in the background, but then it took a turn for the experimental, trying to blend buildings and some other eye-catching attractions above the existing castle walls. I didn't leave myself much room, so some of these are just barely cosmetic faces of structures. The top of the tavern inn, lined by the dragon fountains and gardens, a small home to one side uh, with the shops on the other, and a ferris wheel that's above the castle entrance. Admittedly, there's a bit of an illusion here. I didn't attempt to finish the lower half of the ferris wheel, but maybe someday I'll do a complete version for Garden Paws Amusement Park build or something like that. It's a combination of round pillars, heartback chairs, and strings of lanterns. Much patience with the item shifter to get all of that into place. Still left with the original spaces allocated at the center courtyard area with the fountain and the three rooms connected to it. Going to go with the flow in the center and turn it into a more filled out garden area by adding in foundations for the painted texture of leaves and putting the rose trellises all over the walls. By the time this played out, this castle ended up with a throne room to house the many furry friends, as well as a library across the garden that also houses a small cafe shop. If that's not enough, the tavern and inn are right around the corner and beyond the next swinging door. Time for a little tour inside and out, and I hope I'll see you in Florence again soon. Take care y'all, and bye bye